brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, overcoming negative thought patterns. Overcoming negative thought patterns. Most of us know the value of positivity. Feeling positive about our lives gives us bursts of energy, hope for the future. It sharpens our vision. We feel like we can take on the world. But there are times when our thoughts are not so positive. Sometimes the thoughts are negative. Negative thoughts make us feel less confident, less than able, not so vibrant. And these thoughts can drain our energy. If negative thoughts become a pattern, it can affect our vision, it can affect our goals. It can ultimately affect a person's purpose and destiny. Overcoming negative thought patterns. A thought pattern is defined as a habit of thinking in a particular way using certain assumptions. The dictionary states that thought patterns are influenced by the experiences, trials and trauma that a person has throughout life. Thought patterns can affect how a person finds something positive or negative in most situations. Persistent thought patterns can affect behavior and actions. Why are we speaking about overcoming negative thought patterns? Because persistent negative thought patterns can affect our mood. They can affect our relationships in the home, at work, among our friends and family. For instance, an individual may overreact to innocent comments, tears may well up in a person's eyes when constructive feedback is given. That person may remember a negative experience and link it to the current episode. For example, a friend points out a more efficient way of getting a task done. The individual feels she's saying, I'm not good enough. Why are we speaking today about overcoming negative thought patterns? Negative thought patterns will eventually show externally. Proverbs 23 verse 7, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Negative thought patterns affect the way we speak, how we speak. Luke 6 45, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Negative thought patterns often lead to negative speech. And why is positive speech important? Mark 11, 22 and 23. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. When we say what we believe, it has great effect. When we say positive things in faith, positive things happen. The converse is true. When we say negative things, we're setting up an atmosphere for the occurrence of negative things. Proverbs 18 verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Why are we speaking about overcoming negative thought patterns? Negative thought patterns can affect our future, our destiny. It can affect our health. It can affect physical health, mental health. It can lead to anxiety, emotional stress, depression, high blood pressure, to name a few. How do negative thought patterns arise? They can arise from unfulfilled expectations. When our goals are not met, we might feel that we haven't quite arrived and those negative thought patterns can go ringing in a person's head. Negative thought patterns can arise from long periods of waiting, waiting for change to come, for that season to, of change, for that blessing to arrive. Proverbs 13 verse 12, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Hope postponed grieves the heart but when a dream comes true life is full and sweet may your hope no longer be deferred in the name of jesus may your breakthrough come speedily may your dreams come true may your life be full and sweet in jesus mighty name 
Amen. Negative thought patterns can come from anxiety, anxiety over cost of living, health concerns, anxiety in any shape or form. Negative thought patterns can arise from disappointment, bullying, hurtful words said by others, domestic and other types of abuse, abandonment, rejection. In fact, negative thought patterns can arise from any negative experience. Some people feel battered and bruised by life events. Some individuals have gone through turbulent relationships. Some have gone through office politics. Past events have led to a lack of confidence or low self-esteem or both. But you can break out of this negative cycle. You can help someone break out of negative thought patterns. How can you overcome negative thought patterns? The first step is self-awareness, recognizing and accepting that there are negative thought patterns going on in the head. Number two, recognize the major source of negative thoughts. Satan, he is the major source of negative thoughts. John 10 verse 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus has come that they may have life and they may have it more abundantly. God's thoughts towards you are captured in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. How reassuring is that? How can you overcome negative thought patterns? Number three, understand that Satan is lying about who you are. Satan is projecting lies which he wants you to believe. John 8, 44, Satan was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character for he is a liar and the father of lies. Number four, catch the thought before it settles. As soon as a negative thought comes, push it away, refuse to accept it, counter the thought with opposite thoughts or words. I am not a failure. I will not die poor. If the negative thoughts keep coming, pray, exercise, take a walk or think about something completely different. Find something to do that will take your mind off the thoughts. How can you overcome negative thought patterns? Number five, cast down every imagination. Don't just push away the thoughts. Cast down every imagination that is not in alignment with the word of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. The New Life Version says, we break down every thought. We break down every every thought and proud thing that puts itself up against the wisdom of God. We take hold of every thought and make it obey Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> How can you overcome negative thought patterns? Number six, renew your mind with the word of God. Change the way you think. When you reject what the enemy is saying, counter it with the word of God. Romans 12 verse 1 and 2. Therefore I urge you brothers in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good pleasing and perfect will. The New Living Translation puts it this way. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person. How? By changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing 
and perfect. I love that translation. <laughs> Hebrews 4 verse 12, for the word of God is living, it's active, it's sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Renew your mind with the word of God. Change the way you think. Reading the Bible is therapy. So pick a simple version which you can understand easily. How can you overcome negative thought patterns? Number seven, think on these things. If you don't dwell on the negative, what should you think about? Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Don't dwell too much on the past. Don't dwell on things you cannot change. Don't keep talking about the negative past, the negative career, the negative relationship, or the negative life experience. Try and learn the lessons and move on. Avoid the type of regret that drags you down instead of galvanizing you into positive action. Prolong talking or dwelling on past negative experiences can make you feel trapped or stuck in the past and unable to move on with your life. Anytime you think about that negative experience, you actually reconnect to the negative emotions you once felt. This is called re-traumatizing and it can affect physical, mental, emotional health. Dwelling on the past, it reduces your ability to take advantage of what's before you, current and future opportunities. Dwelling on the past can sabotage current and future relationships, especially if you're blaming others for what happened in the past. You may start to distrust people. It may reduce your interaction with people. Don't let your past impair your future. How can you? Overcome negative thought patterns. Number eight, do not fear. Psalm 46 verse one to three. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, we shall not fear. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Isaiah 41 verse 10, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. How can you Overcome negative thought patterns. Number nine, don't be anxious regardless of what is going on around you. Do not give in to anxiety, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 8, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. How can you overcome negative thought patterns? Number 10, guard your heart with all diligence. Yes, you have that responsibility. Proverbs 4 verse 23, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Number 11, avoid negative self-talk. Be kind to yourself. Speak to yourself the way a supportive friend would speak to you. Give yourself a pat on the back. God loves you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are precious in God's sight. Declare what you want, not what the devil wants. Don't agree with Satan. How can you 
overcome negative thought patterns. Number 12, ask God to heal you. Ask for emotional healing, psychological healing, mental healing from all the negative thoughts, from the self-battery, from the negative words of others, from the self-doubt and the loss of confidence. Number 13, be consistent. Build up consistent, positive thought patterns. It takes practice. It takes time. Don't give up after a few days and say, oh no, this doesn't work. Satan doesn't give up. 1 Peter 5 verse 8. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Isaiah 26 verse 3. God will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is steadfast, whose mind is stayed on him because we trust in him. May almighty God keep you in perfect peace in Jesus' name. God wants you to be in perfect peace. He wants to put you back together again. Isaiah 64 verse eight, but now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are the potter and all we are the work of your hands. Yes, God is the potter and we are the clay. There is a song that comes to mind. It's titled The Potter's House and it goes like this. In case you have fallen by the wayside of life, dreams and visions shattered your all broken inside. You don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter wants to put you back together again. In case your situation has turned upside down and all that you've accomplished is now on the ground, you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter wants to put you back together again. You who are broken, stop by the potter's house. You who need mending, stop by the potter's house. Give him the fragments of your broken life. My friend, the potter, wants to put you back together again. Joy in the potter's house. Peace in the potter's house. Love in the potter's house. There is salvation in the potter's house. There is healing in the potter's house. There is deliverance in the potter's house. You'll find everything you need in the potter's house. The potter wants to put you back together again. Yes, the potter wants to put you back together again. When you think about life, do you feel tired? Do you need help? Come to the one who can give you rest in the midst of a tumultuous and troubled world. Come to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 to 30, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus Christ is God's chosen pathway to himself. Jesus came to the earth, died and rose again, resurrected so that you and I can live a successful life here on earth and have life everlasting, eternal life after you leave the earth. Come, come to Jesus today. You can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, right now by saying this prayer with me. If you're a Christian who has strayed away from God, you can also say this prayer. The prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you have just joined God's family.
to continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message to the number on your screen, 708 2256051 stating I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, the number to call is plus 234-708-225-6051 or send a message. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. Overcoming negative thought patterns. I'd like us to take some prayer points together. They're quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Prayer point number one, my Father and my Lord, rescue me from negative thought patterns. Shield my mind, shield my life from every onslaught of the enemy. Break every chain of negative thoughts. Break every negative habit and addiction. Break off every shackle of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number two, Almighty God, deliver me from recurring negative dreams. Cancel every negative statement I have made against my life and against my destiny. I cancel every evil utterance I have made against myself. I will not be my own enemy in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number three, Abba Father, the potter. Please put me back together again. Heal my mind, heal my body, heal my spirit and my soul. Heal me emotionally, psychologically, heal me mentally, heal my life and my destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four, preserve my mental health, O Lord. Heal me from negative words that have been affecting me. Deliver me from anxiety, emotional stress, depression, and high blood pressure. Heal me from the negative effects of turbulent relationships. I refuse to believe the lies of the enemy. I will not be anxious. I will not fear. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five. Oh Lord, help me to recover every lost ground. Help me to rebound from every negative experience and trauma that I have faced. Please restore all that Satan has stolen from me. Rebuild me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six. My Father, fill me with your goodness. Fill me with energy, passion, and hope for the future. Grant me a new vision and a positive outlook. Holy Spirit, fill me to overflowing. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number seven. Father, take over my thought patterns. Let my thoughts align with your thoughts. Let my speech align with your will. Guide my thoughts. Guide my speech. Let your will be done in every area of my life. Let me enter into a new and positive season. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> prayer point number eight, personal prayer requests. I'd like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18 verse 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to Almighty God, the omnipotent God. Lift up your requests. Ask him. He is the potter. He wants to put you back together again. He wants to rebuild you. He wants to do amazing things in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious promises. We're thankful that when we pray, you answer us. I agree with all those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let their testimonies begin right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for praying along with me. I would like us to take some faith-filled declarations together. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every stronghold over my life is broken. Every negative thought pattern is broken. 
I emerge victoriously from every shackle of the enemy. I am a success. I fulfill my glorious destiny. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. <laughs> Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, TOD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Pita on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Pita, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. It's been such a delight bringing Healing Streams to you today. And may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy, and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom. <music>